We begin in the Middle East, where tensions along Israel's northern border are rising as Hamas ally Hezbollah launches dozens of rockets. The Iran proxy fired a barrage of 35 rockets at an army headquarters in northern Israel. Now, the attack was in response to Israeli raids targeting villages in southern Lebanon. And the Israeli Defense Forces said no injuries were reported in the attack. In retaliation, the Israeli military struck Hezbollah positions in southern Lebanon. And the IDF said its fighter jets had hidden infrastructure and two buildings where members of Hezbollah were operating from. Now, there's been daily cross-border exchange of fire between the two groups following the Israeli offensive in Gaza after Hamas' October 7th attack. And Hezbollah says that it is acting in support of Hamas. And now with tensions between Israel and Iran at an all-time high, the Lebanese Shiite militant group has intensified its attacks on Israeli military targets. In fact, since October 7th, at least 376 people have been killed in Lebanon of which 70 were civilian casualties. Israel says that at least 10 of its soldiers and eight civilians have been killed in Hezbollah attacks. The hostilities have also displaced tens of thousands of people from border communities in northern Israel and southern Lebanon. Meanwhile, the Israeli military continues its onslaught in the Gaza Strip. And on Monday, the IDF said it searched and destroyed Hamas infrastructure and eliminated Hamas fighters in central Gaza. In southern Gaza, Israeli troops returned to Khan Yunus again and launched a raid against Palestinian militants. Armored Israeli military vehicles were also seen moving along the Gaza border. The relentless Israeli assault has already killed over 34,000 Palestinians in the enclave with no end in sight. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.